Hi traders, I um, wanted to talk to you about moving average crossover techniques. You can see here we've got a dollar yen chart on an hourly basis and we're using a 10 and 20 moving average to give us crossover indications and you can see it's a pretty busy chart with lots of signals and using two moving averages is never a good idea because you can't filter out trend. So when the market's range bound, you're going to get a load of crossovers, for example, in this, this area here. And clearly that is not going to give you a very good result. So the important thing to realize is MA crossovers do not work well in range bound market conditions, whereas they do work very well in, in trending conditions. So we can build upon this by, if we go to another dollar yen chart on, a, on an hourly basis, in this one, we're using three moving averages. And so let's just load up our control interface, which is here. And we're using a 10, 20, and a 200 EMA. And you can see immediately the quality of the signals improves enormously. So they're not all perfect, and they never will be, but well, you're not getting into the market when the market is range bound. So that's the first improvement. Use a third moving average. And you can see here, most of these signals would have resulted in a profitable position pretty quickly. You can further improve upon this by being selective about the type of gradient for the actual crossover entry condition. And what we've done with this particular system, it's called the triple moving average crossover with auto trading is we've created the ability to sample the gradient of the trend lines at any point on the chart. So if you go to the check sign in MT4 and you place it on the chart and an area you like the look of the actual trend. So let's put it here where the tick is and you can see that the system takes two sample points, an MA2 delta and an MA3 delta. And it gives us a value. And so we can use these values in our MA2 delta threshold and MA3 delta threshold to filter out um, non-optimum entry conditions. So the figures um, are really a guide. So there's some experimentation required here. So first of all, let's use the MA3 delta. And we we'll used a figure of, let's say, uh, we we'll use 800 as a starter and see what that does. And that's immediately taken us out of these two entries we saw there and let's just scan around the chart and see what's happened so that's probably a little bit too restrictive you've noticed a lot of the entries have disappeared so let's take that 800 down to say 500 it's filtering out entries where the market is flat or the long-term trend line is flat and filter or giving us entries where the trend is the long term trend has got some gradient to it. So here a lovely entry there and that short side there. We can further improve this by adding a, a further delta threshold for this for the MA2 moving average, the, the intermediate moving average. Try a thousand for that and see what happens there. And that entry is still intact. Lovely entry there. Let's see what else we got. Perhaps that might be a little bit restrictive at 1,000. So let's come down to, say, 500. Lovely entry there. Not so good there. Nice entry there. Nice entry there. And so on. So I'm not going to spend ages tuning this. This is something which traders can do that to their heart's content and get, you know, really get an optimum setup which works for you but let's just compare the two systems so dollar yen two moving average crossovers 10 and 20 periods tons of signals but also loads of signals which are going to get you into hot water and you're going to be basically trading in range band market conditions which is not ideal i mean clearly you can see here we're in an uptrend and these two short-term moving averages don't detect that Whereas when you go to a three moving average system, which is 10, 20, 10, 20 and 200, and apply filters, the quality of the signals just improves beyond belief. And you can, you know, take, it keeps you out of these range bound markets into situations where you can make some serious pips 
In this case, you've got an entry here. Look at that. You know, you had a 63, 65 pip move to the to the downside there. Looking through this in a bit more detail. Again, these entries here. So we sort of an entry here, and you wouldn't have seen that. That, that wouldn't have even drawn down, and you could have ridden that for as long as you wanted. Another one here. You know, this is over a hundred pip move, and so on. So really important to to remember that two moving average systems cannot really compensate for trend three moving average systems do and by using clever trend filtering tools like the ma delta thresholds you can further improve upon the performance of these systems anyway that's about it i just wanted to keep it short and sweet so if you'd like any more information please don't hesitate to get in contact it's info at fxogotrader.com Thanks very much for watching.